Hello, Backyard Scientist here. Today I'm going to show you how I built my microwave cannon and maybe if you're lucky we'll get to fry some stuff. Alright, so this is the 700 watt magnetron and my waveguide. And when building this it looks kind of easy but I'm not an electrician and it was very hard for me to figure this out. So this is what it looks like. I'll explain in a second. This did not help me. This was just a bunch of jumbly gook and I didn't understand it. But thankfully, I took a picture when I was disassembling it, so I knew what to do. And what you do is you have your power input go into the microwave transformer, and that goes into the high voltage capacitor, and then that goes into the magnetron. And it's very important to keep everything grounded or else it won't even work. Now, let's fry some stuff. First off, an AM FM radio. And that interference, that buzzing sound that you hear, is the same sound that's coming out of the radio. With all that interference, I guess it's not as safe as I thought. Not, it's not unsafe, but... Ohm reader reads about 30 volts AC and I don't know negative 17 volts DC. Easily lights up a light bulb at one foot. Two feet has a little bit difficulty, but it can still affect a light bulb. Now, this is a good way to burn a CD. But um, get it? Burn a CD. Ha, ha, ha. 